Hey, what's going on guys? It's Reflex66, back with another quick task guide video from Escape from Tarkov. Today, we're talking about Prapper's Task, Bunker Part 1. For this task, you need to locate the underground bunker on reserve, and then locate the control room in the underground bunker on reserve, and then survive an extract. So, one misconception about this task is that you do not have to go down to D2. For Bunker Part 1, you only must find the bunker, which means go underground, and then find the control room. After that, you can leave out of any extract you want to. So we're going to jump in reserve real quick. We're going to go down, show you where the bunker's at, show you where the control room is, and then we're going to automatically come back out and extract out through manhole. Um, I feel like that's the safest way to do this, so we're going to go ahead and jump over to reserve now. As usual, guys, we are in a live raid. Um, I have waited. I've let the timer tick down to about 10, 11 minutes now. So with the strategy behind that is if your only focus is getting this task complete, right? There's raiders in the bunker. People are going to, going to go fight the raiders. So you let the, the action and stuff die down there and unless you're trying to push down and get in the action. If your sole purpose is to get this task complete, you might as well let them clear out and then just walk down to the bunker. So the bunker is between, is under the helicopter, right? So any of the buildings around the helicopter you can use to get down to the bunker. Any of them have their own little access points. All of them have a little, when you go down, you got a little blast door, right? Ding, we're down here in the bunker. So then all you have to do is find your way down to the, the control room in the bunker, right? So at the bottom of the steps, or, the, you know, it all kind of routes back to this main corridor area right here. This is where your raiders tend to spawn or on one of these little offshoots, right? And so there's two ends. There's one end right here with the hallway. The other end is kind of closed off on the side, how this one's open. The one over here is the one that you're going to want to go in for your control room, right? So you're going to come back here. This is the switch to turn power on. It also spawns more raiders or can spawn more raiders. This right here is your control room. This whole room right here is your control room. So all you have to do is walk in and it counts as your control room task complete. So we're going to check our task real quick. You can see we're on bunker part one. We've located the underground bunker in reserve and we've located the control room. Now, all we have to do is survive and extract. Most people get confused with this and think they have to go down to D2 for bunker part one. You do not have to go down to bunk down to D2. All you have to do is survive. So what I do is I come back out this way. So that path over there is the way to get to D2. I come out and I go up out of the queen building. The queen building is the center building on the map. Um, central to everything that you need to get to. And what I do from here is I just go over to the manhole extract. So you can see there's the button for Wee Woo. Manhole extract is over here by the garages, by the night buildings. So... We're going to use these bushes as cover, stay close to the building, and just sneak our way across. Um, now, for the manhole extract, you cannot have a backpack on. So I came into raid. If you check my gear, I do not have a backpack on. All you have to do is get to the manhole and just extract. So it's that simple, guys. When you're coming this way, you know, you can use different things as obstacles. You always be on the lookout for scavs and players in here. But we waited till pretty late in the raid, so reserve's pretty much a dead map at this point. So this truck is right over the manhole. That's the manhole cover right there. In order to be safer when you're extracting, because sometimes people like to camp staring at this, if you crawl all the way into the axle here, make sure to push all the way in, you'll get an extract. So that's the entire task for bunker part one, guys. We located the bunker, we found the control room, and we extracted. So now let's go ahead and turn this task in. All right, guys, bunker part one is complete. For this task, you can see we got 5,700 experience, 20,000 rubles. We got an AK-105, 60 rounds of Golnik, 30 rounds of BT, and gained 0.03 rep with Prapper. Guys, that's everything you need for this task. If you have any questions, comments, or remarks, be sure to leave them down below. If you have any more questions for me, you can find me live on, on Twitch, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, almost every night of the week. I look forward to helping you guys out, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you need any additional help, feel free to come by the stream on Twitch. Check out our Discord at toc.gg slash Discord. Stop by our website at TarkovHelpline.com or leave a comment down below.